It's the big morning. With regard to Article 370 abrogation, the Supreme Court is set to deliver a verdict. After, remember, elaborate hearing that had been on, led by a five-judge bench, petitioners and both from what the opposition to the Article 370 abrogation has been and to what the government and the centre's reasoning is. Today, we are expecting that big move. Remember, this was one of the biggest decisions, fruited with risk, that the government of the centre had taken. With a lot of changes that have been witnessed positively, specifically in the Kashmir Valley, what happens here on? The Supreme Court will decide is the Article 370 purge is valid. Our legal correspondent Anisha Mathur is joining on the phone line this morning for the latest. Anisha, good morning. What time are we expecting the verdict uh, to be delivered by the bench? And importantly, how significant do you see this one as uh, with the legal perspective coming in on Article 370? Well, Pooja, this is going to be a very, very important verdict for the country politically as well as legally because, uh, for one, it uh, is politically, of course, we know that uh, the, this verdict was, uh, this uh, Article 370 abrogation, uh, the, what it has done politically, not just for the BJP, but in the Kashmir Valley as well. But more importantly, legally, this verdict is set to, uh, will set the standard for centre-state relations, whether uh, the parliament was, uh, it was valid for the parliament to make a decision for the state which did not have an assembly, what are the, the powers of a state, what are the powers of the president to take a decision. Uh, and more importantly, this entire historical debate over the status of Jammu and Kashmir uh, the instrument of succession, uh, the instrument of accession that was signed by the Kashmir King. All of those issues were argued out before the Supreme Court, and it will make a decision on the basis of various uh, factors involved. Of course, the what has happened post abrogation of Article 370 is something that the Supreme Court is not looking into, even though the centre politically has said that that has been a significant uh, change in uh, uh, how JNK is viewed and how people in JNK view India. But the Supreme Court is looking at the legal side of it. Could the president have taken this decision? Could the parliament have taken a decision in this manner? Who exactly is the representative of the will of the people of Jammu and Kashmir? That is the big question before the court. And at 10.30, we are expecting this verdict to be pronounced. Thank the you. DM, Anisha Mathur will be tracking all the latest from the court. Remember, two key words will be significant for Article 370 abrogation verdict. One will be peace, another will be people. And that is what the bench will also be looking at, possibly. Remember, it's a big day because Article 370, which uh, was abrogated on 5th August 2019, four years on. There had been a lot of petitions against it, opposing it, largely from uh, the, the netas locally in JNK. Now, five-judge bench headed by Justice D.Y. Chandrachur will deliver the verdict. Petitioners opposing the repeal of the Article 370, the top court had asked, how can a temporary provision like this had become permanent in JNK? But JNK parties are demanding what they call justice for people of Jammu and Kashmir. The Saffron clan is hopeful that 370 abrogation will continue. Meanwhile, security has been tightened in parts of the Kashmir Valley. But remember, a lot has changed in the past four years with regard to this political will that had been shown. Terrorism and stone pelting are the most visible changes that we have seen that has come down. Incidents have reduced significantly. Jammu and Kashmir witnessed many firsts. What was unthinkable for several decades, cinema has returned as a mode of entertainment, which is normal in other parts of the world, uh, was absolutely unthinkable in Kashmir Valley for a long time due to different fears. That's happened. Tourism, which Kashmir Valley largely depended on, had suffered a lot in the past three decades. There has been a significant increase in tourism too. Government recruitment with regard to examinations and other policies has also improved in JNK. On 5th of August 2019, the Article 370 was abrogated by the government of India in Jammu and Kashmir. We have seen the long battle in the court about Article 370 but by different political parties as well as civil societies as many petitions were filed against the abrogation of Article 370 by Government of India in Jammu and Kashmir. Supreme Court did not heard these petitions uh, uh, after the abrogation of Article 370 but during the last month for 10 days the PIL uh, against the abrogation of Article 370 were heard in the Supreme Court. 
and there was the regular uh, 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 the proceedings for this uh, these PILs in Supreme Court. Now on Monday, the important judgment is coming out from Supreme Court on the abrogation of Article 370. It is very interesting and all eyes are on the verdict of Supreme Court, not only by the political parties who are against the abrogation of Article 370, including some of the main regional parties of Jammu and Kashmir, including Gupkar Gatbandan, but also the civil society and the common people. On 5th of August 2019, when uh, Article 370 was abrogated from Jammu and Kashmir, we have seen the long shutdown in the Kashmir Valley. In fact, the internet services, the telephone uh, services and other activities were uh, halted and put on hold to avoid any kind of clash or any kind of protest across the Jammu and Kashmir. The government tackled that situation well in 2019, but the question is, will be any kind of reaction in the Kashmir after the verdict of the Supreme Court on Article 370? That is yet to be seen. But the government as well as the administration of Jammu and Kashmir is fully geared up to tackle any kind of situation which emerges in the Kashmir Valley. Hi. We are कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट जिस तरीके से 5 अगस्त 2019 को जम्मू कश्मीर के लोगों को जेल में तब्दील करके भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने ठीक है उनके पास ताकत ही अपनी ताकत का मिसयूज करके हमसे वो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल गारंटी छीनी है तो हमें उम्मीद है कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट हमारी बात जरूर सुनेगा और हमें इंसाफ जो है सुप्रीम कोर्ट से मिलेगा जो भी निर्णय सुप्रीम कोर्ट का होगा वो सराखों पर होगा जम्मू कश्मीर के अंदर 70 साल गुजर बकरवाल पहाड़ी कबीला ओबीसी कम्युनिटी के लोग विस्थापित लोग वेस्ट पाकिस्तानी विस्थापित दलित समाज के लोग समाज के लगभग हर सेक्शन के साथ बहुत बड़ा अन्याय हुआ और अब वो अन्याय समाप्त हुआ है बड़े तरीके के साथ लोकसभा और राज्यसभा में बहुमत से इस प्रस्ताव को पास किया गया और वहां से जो चीजें बनती हैं वही आगे जाकर के कानून बनते हैं और माननीय सुप्रीम कोर्ट जो भी करेगा कानून के दायरे में करेगा वेस्ट पाकिस्तान रिफ्यूजीज गोरखास और बहुत से ऐसे समाज हैं जिनको 70 साल वोट डालने का अधिकार नहीं मिला यह कैसा न्याय है तो मुझे लगता है कि सभी पक्ष और विपक्ष की दलीलों को सुनते हुए हमें आशा ही नहीं पूर्ण विश्वास है कि धारा 370 को हटाए जाने के हक में मान्य न्यायालय का फैसला होगा और दफा 370 के बाद में उसके साथ रियासत का दर्जा छीना गया और हिंदुस्तान में पहली रियासत के कि उस रियासत को छीन के यूटी में तब्दील कर दिया गया और यूटी में तब्दील करने के बाद जहां पे गवर्नर जम्मू कश्मीर के लोगों की मुश्किलातों का समाधान कर सकते थे वहां पे एलजी साहब की पोस्ट यहां पे उन पे नियुक्त यहां पे किया गया तो हमें एक साइड से लगता था कि अनबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट जरूर संज्ञान लेगी कि हमें डीग्रेड किया गया कहीं पे भी हिंदुस्तान में यूटी से रास्ते बनती हैं और रियासत से जम्मू कश्मीर को यूटी में तब्दील करना और आज हम लोग 9 साल से महरूम है चुनाव से महरूम है जो सरकार ने गैर कानूनी फैसला लिया था क्योंकि ये पावर्स असेंबली की इलेक्टेड गवर्नर के पास थी नॉमिनेटेड गवर्नर के पास नहीं थी स्टेट को भंग करना और रिकमेंड करना तो उस तरीके से ये अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल है और बहुत भी कई चीजें हैं जिसकी वजह से अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल तो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल और अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल कौन फैसला करेगा ये सुप्रीम कोर्ट की ही बेंच कर सकता है तो उसका इंतजार है हमें इंसाफ का कि जम्मू कश्मीर के आवाम को 370 और 35A जो हमसे छीना गया है जिसमें नौकरियां भी हैं जिसमें जमीन भी है वो उसमें जो हमारा हक एक्सक्लूसिव हक था उससे हमें महरूम रखा गया है उसका इंतजार हमें 4 साल से ज्यादा से है उसका हम यह अभी उम्मीद करते हैं और पूरा सुप्रीम कोर्ट पर यह विश्वास है यह भरोसा है यह उम्मीद है यह तवक्क है उनसे कि वो हमें अपना हक देंगे हम कोई खास ज्यादा उम्मीद हम लोगों ने नहीं रखी है क्योंकि हम मानते हैं जैसे मैंने कहा कि संस्थाएं जो देश की है वो सब अंडर प्रेशर है तो जहां तक कल का जो वेडिट आने वाला है हम ये मानते हैं कि 
شاید وہ ہمارے حق میں نہیں ہو لیکن اتنا ضرور ہے دو ہزار چوبیس میں جو انڈیا گڑھ بندر بنے گا اس میں ہم لوگ کم سے کم جو ہے اسٹیٹ ہڈ آپ کو واپس مل سکتا ہے اور پھر ایک آدھ بل ہم لوگ پاس کریں اسمبلی سے کہ آپ کا لینڈ کی پروٹیکشن اینڈ آپ کی جو آپ کی جو جابس کی سیکورٹی ہے یہ کم سے کم یہاں کے لوگوں کو ملے دیکھیے گیارہ دسمبر دو ہزار تیئیس کا دن نیائے کی درشٹی سے دیش اور دنیا کے لیے اتہاسک ثابت ہونے والا ہے اسوادھانک طور پر تین سو ستر کو ہٹائے جانے پر جس طریقے سے جن بھاونا ہے جموں کشمیر کے ستھانیے پرتی ویکتی کی کہ ان کا مانا ہے کہ بھارت سرکار نے اسوادھانک طریقے سے تین سو ستر کو ہٹایا تھا ہمیں پورا جکین ہے کہ جموں کشمیر کے ستھانی نیواسیوں کے حق میں ماننے سپریم کورٹ کا فیصلہ آئے گا اور جن ادھیکاروں سے بنچت کیا گیا تھا ان ادھیکاروں کو ماننے سپریم کورٹ دوارہ بحال کیا جائے گا